Next question is from Dan Yo twelve twelve. Can I build mass only with fifty pound dumbbells? That's a good question. Uh, yeah, 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 absolutely. You can. Now, I guess the, the the real question is, what happens when it gets so strong that the fifty pound dumbbells start to feel light? Huh. Try, a, try try a, try a six second negative and get back to me. I was yeah. just going to say, there's, <laughs> there's, there's a whole there's, lot of variables we can play with. There's many ways to make a weight heavier. Remember, your body doesn't really know you're lifting fifty pounds; it just knows the tension. One way to make a weight heavier is to add weight. Like, yeah. duh. Uh, the other way is to go slower, change your form. Yeah. I submit, hold the squeeze. Yeah, hold it in certain positions. Hold the stretch. I did this uh, last week with squats. I, I, you know, I had some weight on the bar, and rather than going heavier, I just held the bottom position for five, for five seconds. I love so I yeah. love that. Right. I, so one of my favorite exercises, and it's about fifty pounds, is what I do this with: is uh, incline alternating dumbbell press, and I'm hold, I either hold at the bottom or I hold at the top, and I, I switch that up. You know, mm-hmm. so I'll do an isometric hold at the top where I'm squeezing my chest while the other one's going down, and I'm all alternating back and forth like that or I'll do the opposite where I'm holding down in the stretch position and then But I'm you're pressing. maintaining tension. Exactly. You're not like resting it. Yeah, no, it's isometric. Mm-hmm. So I'm so you're getting that. We talk about the benefits of that and a lot of people don't include that in their workout. That's a great way to include in your workout and a great reason to do it is because you don't have the weight to scale up. So interesting story, right? So during World War II, there weren't a ton of gyms, but there was definitely there was at the time there was a developing muscle building culture where you had you know, you know, some guys that would like to lift weights to develop and build their body, especially in Southern California and some places on the East Coast. During World War II, there was they were rationing steel, right? They needed it to produce planes and bombs and, and weapons. And so it was hard to get weights that were heavier than, I don't remember what the weight was, but a certain amount. It was just too expensive, too hard. You couldn't get it. So at the time, the bodybuilders started experimenting with super slow motion. These call it super slow motion reps, mm-hmm. where they'd go really slow. So you got these guys that are used to lifting 200 or 300 pounds. Now they, they, all they have is 100 pounds. What can they possibly do? That's exactly what they did. They slowed the reps down. And what came out of that was the understanding that you could develop your body with these different novel ways of training. And it became a whole form, a whole way of, of exercise. Oh, there's still, there's a lot of camps around that way of training. I oh, yeah. So I, I'll never forget, this was my, I want to say third, second or third boss when I was just getting into training. And he, he was uh, probably 25. I'm only like 20, 19, 20 at this time. And uh, I remember he's great, great shape. In fact, he competed. Um, but the way he trained was su- this super slow technique. That everything he did was that. Mm-hmm. So he would take a weight, and he would. I mean, he would just go as slow as possible. And sometimes it'd only be three reps, and he would come. It would take it, the muscle to failure that mm-hmm. way under control. And a guy looked phenomenal, dude. Yeah. And that's how he trained. I, and bef- up until that point, I never kind of bought into the. I wasn't doing any isometric stuff. I was never really paying attention to the eccentric motion and going really slow. After meeting him, that changed my training, and I started to play around with it. And then I started to dig well, a little you, bit deeper. Yeah, right? you guys are talking about slow. Nice. You can also like move really fast with them. You can you can right. do dumbbell snatches. You can do cleans. You can do a lot of things where you're getting fast twitch activation uh, with those fifty pounds, and you know get a whole new stimulus. Oh, completely. It's just again, there's so many ways to make a weight uh, feel heavy. You don't need to add weight uh, every single time. You look at uh, guys in prison when they start, especially in California, when they uh, took weights out right uh and they couldn't lift anymore they would experiment with stuff like this and it was like in the guards a lot of the guards were like damn what do we do now well, yeah, because and, these dudes are still jacked oh and imagine and uh, you know i'll throw out some cool stuff like uh take a 50 pound dumbbell chest press and then superset that with explosive push-ups yeah. exactly right afterwards i mean there's a lot of cool things you know uh, katrina and i were we're getting ready to move soon and so we're actually ordering a prx for the house because we'll be far from the gym here and uh, I told her just to get up to 50 pound dumbbells. Exactly what she's like, you know, let's get some dumbbells too. And I'm like, ah, you know what? We don't need a whole set of them. I got plenty at the studio. And as long as I got up to 50s there, I know I can get a great workout still. So, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, this for, for when you do your really heavy training. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, uh, it's funny that, you know, we were talking about a question like this. And that was something that we literally were talking about last night about only getting those. You know, sometimes I do better when I, I, I this is all I have to work with. Totally. It, yeah. Versus knowing that there's a bunch of weight and the design. Because I want to lift heavy. It's just, I think it's... it's. There seems to be more intent around your workouts that way. Yeah. I, and, and you know what? When you have to move slow and controlled like that because you don't have Your heavier, form's going to be way better. Way better, less likely to get hurt and injured. And most people need to throw that type of training in there every once in a while. So, no, there's a lot of value to this.